Hey guys, I'm just Jershin. Welcome back to episode 57 of the Binding of Isaac Repentance. I messed up the episode number in the last episode. Apologies for that. It's look honestly, if you unsubscribed because I messed up the number of the Isaac episode, probably didn't want you around here anyway. Um, last episode we took a little break. Just kidding. Every subscriber helps. We're trying to get to 500. You share with your grandmother, your brother, your sister, everyone. We're gonna hit 500 eventually. I swear. Um, today. What do we want to do? Not a lot, to be honest. I kind of feel like napping. Um, I promised we would unlock a tainted character because in the last episode we did uh, Mother with Azazel, which is, uh, let's be honest, easy peasy lemon squeezy mode. And I said today we would unlock a tainted character. Maybe tainted Apollyon? I don't hate Apollyon. Let's do Apollyon. We're going to attempt to unlock tainted Apollyon. Um, I don't really want the HP, so I will just slurp that. Thank you for the damage and speed upgrade. Thank you for a guppy item right off the bat. This is looking like a, a blessed run already. Thank you so much. Um, now hopefully we don't just like die instantly by a, a champion in the next room. Hopefully we can stay alive for long enough to, to bring this one to fruition. But uh, a damage and speed up in the very first room. Followed by... Guppy's Collar, one-third of the way to Guppy, literally two rooms into the run. That seems pretty good to me. Um, yeah, I don't hate Apollyon. We've, we've uh, it, it's complicated. We've gone through some ebbs and flows. I, I've said some things about Apollyon that I'm not proud of. I may have, at one point or another, said that he was trash. Um, but I, I, I've reformed my opinion since then. I, I think I was, uh... I think I was a silly boy. I, I don't think he is trash at all. In fact, I would I would dare venture to say, I think he's quite good. Uh, maybe not him as a character, but just starting with the void, uh, I think is a very solid item. Obviously, any space bar items we come across with, we can commandeer, stack upon each other, get multiple space bar items working together. But probably the the better effect of Apollyon, the one that I prefer is the ability uh, to take an item that is maybe not so great, such as Thunder Thighs, uh, with a speed down that I don't love. Seven cent stopwatch would all but guarantee a victory. Um, we can get up to six cents, I think that's it though. Unless we get like Pageant Boy from our boss fight. That's a shame, that would be a very good item. Maybe we'll get Pageant Boy. I, I don't, I'm not at, let me just go at Universe, I'm not asking for Pageant Boy. This, this is not me asking for Pageant Boy, though. There is a Tinted Rock there, so I wouldn't be opposed to, like, uh... You know what would be great? Give me the box. Give me the box. The box gives us a heart, so that I can get off of one heart and not feel like I'm gonna die. The box gives us a bomb, so that we can access the Tinted Rock. Maybe get a Spirit Heart, protection for the deal with the devil on the next floor. The box gives us at least one penny, which we can then use to get to seven cents. Um, okay, or we could just get breakfast. <laughs> that works too! Um, I'll tell you what. Let me, let me tell you something. I think you do alt path as this character, whether or not we're gonna do the mother fight, which we probably won't. The ability to have double item runes. I'm assuming you can void multiple items at the same time. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But it... My assumption, at the very least, is that you can void multiple items at the same time and get double the stats that you would otherwise expect to get from voiding them. So coming down to the alt floor, where we have double item rooms, I would think I could press void, and if I don't like... If I don't like the main item and I don't want to take a risk on the second item, I should be able to slurp and get two benefits, although I do really like Sack Dagger. <laughs> uh, I do really like Sack Dagger, so I think I'll be taking Sack Dagger, I just need a bomb. Um, though that's a triple item room. It's starting to look like a triple item room. Um, the question is, can you, can I do anything about that? Am, am I gonna get multiple items from this room, or is it just giving me one extra selection? I can never tell. Sometimes it's an extra item, sometimes it's, um... Sometimes it's just an extra choice. There's our bomb. Let's go find out. I'm gonna take Sack Dagger. Which I think is pretty good. And we get to slurp the poop. 
Do we really want to slurp the poop? Not really? There's no reason not to, though? We'll, we'll make one singular poop. Every time that we hit the space bar. Every six rooms. It's not exactly stonks. You, you would be right. You, you would be very uh, meme efficient. If you were on a... If you were taking the SAT of memes, whatever that is. And they asked true or false, is this stonks? And you said false, you would be correct. However... Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna... I was gonna try to, like, justify... I was gonna try to, like, paint a picture of a world where, like... Every six rooms we get a poop and one time it pays out with a dime and therefore it pays for itself. It's probably not gonna happen. Let's let's just be frank with ourselves. Let's just be frank with ourselves that it's probably not gonna happen. It's like we were, I, I streamed earlier today. We were playing more Hat in Time, a lot of fun. Twitch.tv slash Just Jersh and every Saturday noon Central Standard Time if you'd like to join. Um, we were talking about uh, video game hype. And a lot of people in chat were saying, you know, they attempt to avoid video game hype as much as humanly possible. So then you can't be disappointed when the game comes out. If you, if you were never super hyped in the first place, you keep your, uh, you keep your excitement levels low. Fudge, dude, I tried. I mean, I didn't try very good, but I tried. Um, that's a shame. That's a shame. That's a shame. Uh, we just set ourselves a little bit back in terms of this run. Postponing a deal with the devil, even a single floor, can be uh, detrimental to an entire run's overall viability. So I'm pretty upset about that. But it's fine. Let's head down to the next floor. Uh, let's visit our secret room first. Then we'll head down to the next... Mmm, now we have petrified poop. Now you see every six rooms we're gonna start... We're gonna make a single poop. Now you're starting to see the stonks. Petrified poop's not working? Um... Now you're starting to see the stonks. Now, now you're picking up what I'm putting down. I, I, I'm glad we could uh, meet in the middle somewhere. But yeah, maybe I should do something similar. <laughs> With the poop. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't get my hopes uh, set up towards the moon that it's going to pay out with like 10 cents. Maybe I should just assume it's going to do nothing. And then when it does... That's right, I said when, not if. Then when it pays out with 10 cents... It's way more exciting, you know? Because we didn't expect it to. It's all about framing. Oh my god. It's all about mental framing. I think, or something like that. That's a... It's been a while since I've taken a psych class. Literally since college. But, that's a thing, right? Is it mental framing? Isn't that like a, a, a means for staying positive or something like that? I'm pretty sure it is. Don't tell me whether it is or is not. I'm just gonna... Uh, I'm just going to uh, exist under the guise of ignorance is bliss, bliss, and assume that I'm correct. So, <laughs> if I'm incorrect, don't break my heart, please. Um, this run's going okay. I'm I'm very happy with Sack Dagger. I'm not happy with losing out on the deal with the devil on the last floor, especially when we started off the run. Frick, one third of the way to Guppy. So if it's double, oh frick. Maybe you don't just slurp them, because what if it's a bad spacebar item? I think you do anyway. I got a tears upgrade and a luck upgrade. And if one of them was a... Spacebar item, then I don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> if one of them was a spacebar item, then I am unfamiliar. With what spacebar item we picked up. Frick you, dude. You freaking... You freaking freak. Um, that's unfortunate. We are, um... We're gonna have to dig out of this hole. We've, we've likely just lost another deal with the devil. Um, unless I can... I mean, the spirit heart will help. But we've likely lost out on another deal with the devil. 36% chance you wouldn't expect to get. You wouldn't be upset if you got it. But it's definitely... But it's definitely not great odds. This guy is hopefully going to create like a lot of money for us. This guy is hopefully going to create like a lot of money for us. Alright, come on. 36% chance. It's low. It's low, but... 
it's undeserved to be honest with you i can't be upset latchkey certainly not what we're looking for um yeah i'm gonna that's a great pickup um i'm gonna go ahead and make the executive decision i was thinking about um I, I was thinking about maybe trying to make the mother fight work even though i i promised you we would not be doing the mother fight and that instead we would be doing um unlocking a tainted character We have not received, and, and the fact that we have so few deals with the devil so far makes me think it's pretty unlikely we're going to receive the benefits necessary to make a mother fight run. Now, my view is a little skewed because we, you don't actually have to beat Dogma to unlock the Tainted character. If we actually had to beat Dogma, you actually have less time to try to get as powerful. In theory, it's like two less floors or something like that. Um, but like the same amount of item room, so maybe it's no different whatsoever. Please, 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 don't you dare curse of the blind, curse of the tower me again. Little horn is actually pretty good. I like little horn. I think that's a good item now. Um, not that it wasn't before, but it's, it's a lot, certainly a lot better now than it used to be. Um, I'm going to make the executive decision. We are not going to do, uh, the alt path anymore. We're going back on the main path. We're going to unlock Tainted Apollyon. I'm going to commit to my promise this time. Let's just remember, he's got a cute little... That's what I get for admiring my man's third horn. Never admire a man's third horn. Um, hold on, just just, just thinking here. Yeah, our, our damage could go up a little bit. We, we got a damage up in our very first item room. Um, <laughs> from using Void, and we have not received... A single damage up since then. Let's try our spacebar item. Okay, I don't think we slurped any other spacebar item. At least I didn't see anything happen there. I did not see anything happen there. Uh, but yeah, we haven't received a damage up since the very first floor of the game. I don't want to say recipe for disaster. Certainly not a recipe for chocolate chip cookies, though. Um, we're, we're having some problems. We'll, we'll try to fix it. I guess I could go visit Curse Room now, since I've already lost my deal with the devil, uh, for this floor yet again. Again, we're just trying to unlock the Tainted Care. Maybe I need to... Same thing I was saying earlier. Let's, let's, let's get our mind in the correct place that we want it to. Would it be awesome? Yucky. Would it be awesome to beat Dogma on this run as well, so I don't have to play as Apollyon again? Oh, for Scherzels, it would. It would be so fine and dandy. I wish I knew how much HP I had. Um, here's what we're going to do. Watch this. Here's what we're going to do. Watch this. Okay. <laughs> that was fast. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go low enough to see what's going on in that room. Because we could really use the damage upgrade. Okay, no Skatol for me. That's fine. Just enough to see what's going on. Okay, we still have at least one heart. Now, it'd be nice to make sure we have... Which is what I'm playing this guy for. It would be very nice to know we have some HP here sitting on the floor. It would be very nice to know we have some HP here sitting on the floor. Just in case it's like a speed upgrade in there and I don't want it. Precisely. You indubitably, in fact. Thank you. Okay, we should have uh, low enough now. What do we got? Booster pack is pretty bad. Now, here's the question. Can I slurp it? Can I slurp it? Without activating the room. I don't want to activate the room. I'd rather the room not be activated. I would rather it remain deactivated, in fact. Um, but I would love to slurp that not-so-good item and maybe get some sort of benefit from it. Maybe a little greedy, you, you might be home saying, but that's what I want. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just telling you, it's not what needs to happen. It's at least what I want. Hmm. <laughs> How are we going to handle it? How are we going to handle it? The other option is to just skip it. The other option is to just pretend like we didn't see anything. 
and say, oh well, it's fine. It'll be just fine. Man, we are weak, huh? We are not doing very much damageo. I'm gonna take that. I know we could slurp it, but it's got a speed upgrade component. Um, not to mention it has... Thank you. Not to mention... Thank goodness we have lockpick. It's got a um, speed component, not to mention one-fourth of the... One-third of the way to spun. Okay, let's stop that. Uh, we also have a lot of spirit hearts now, which is good. We, we have a better chance of protecting our deal with the devil. Now... 36% chance on the last floor didn't come through. 36% chance on this floor, although they are independent events, mm -hmm, statistics, something like that. Even though they're independent events here, and so technically it's just a 36% chance, the odds that on two back-to-back 36% chances, we don't get a payout, is lower. You, you would expect on two 36% chance payouts, the chance of getting at least one payout would be higher than 36%. And since we missed the first one, this actually isn't how stats works at all. The, the actual stat is, it's a 36% chance to get a deal with the devil in this particular instance. No more, no less. Little Chad. Little Chad's not too scary. Little Chad's not too scary. Now, the only downside of little Chad, he does move around a little quickly. He's also spawning an unbelievable amount of enemies. Uh, would love, yeah, little horn, a couple more smackies. That's what I'm looking for. Um, he's fast, so it makes it a little hard to get um, sacrificial dagger in there. So I'm just going to shoot him. 36% chance. Come on, baby. Come on. Frick. <laughs> I will go ahead and slurp that. We got a damage upgrade. Let's go. And a poop. Didn't pay out with anything. Okay. Um, Here's what we're going to do. We haven't visited our item room yet. I'm going to leave this trinket behind. Um, just to make sure we're covered. Just to make sure I don't forget later. Um, I'm going to go grab the petrified poop as well. I think I'm probably just going to leave petrified poop behind. And, um, and continue with the other one instead. That was a bad placement. Not a bad placement. Magic 8 ball. Could we have any more bad items on this run, perhaps? I mean, again, it's what it... I literally complimented Apollyon's ability to take bad items and turn them into decent stat upgrades, which is what we've done up to this point. But it would also be cool if we just, like, got a good item. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. Blank card could be uh, uh, pretty good. I don't have a battery charge, though, so we're actually not going to be able to slurp it. So, that's fine. Which means I also can't slurp uh, Magic 8 Ball. We'll hope for something good. It is Emergency Contact and a Shot Speed Upgrade. Would not describe that as good. Um, if you're wondering why I had so much fun playing as Apollyon in the last episode. Feel, feel like this should uh, this should be a pretty good indicator. <laughs> Apoll we were 16 minutes to the mother fight in the last one. Now I'm 16 minutes to Caves 2. Um, and feeling not great about our overall chances. Maybe they'll improve. I don't know. Okay. We're going to leave Petrified Poop. I'm going to bring this... Actually, I'm just going to use this here. I'm going to play it three times. I'm going to grab the money. I don't want Petrified Poop. I'm going to bring Emergency Contact. We're going to continue. So we left the trinket behind, check the box. Don't need to worry about that. Now we just need to make sure we get the fool card on the sixth floor. Again, I have no... We, we've had worse runs than this where we were still able to unlock a tainted character. The unlocking of the tainted character is not difficult. Um, you, you just gotta bring a key piece. Uh, it's the fight afterwards that's a little bit more difficult. And a little annoying because, you know, I don't really want to do it a second time. I don't want to have to do the entire path a second time. It would be nice to just do... Two birds, one stone, you know? Certainly better from a time management perspective. Certainly better from uh, not having a thousand episode series perspective. Which is where it's looking like we're probably going to be... At least <laughs> for now. <laughs> okay. What do we want? Uh, Guppy. Um, also deal with the devil. Also... 
Infinite Spirit Hearts, also Brimstone, also every good item in the game. Also, stop hitting me. Red Patch. I'll take it. We, we're pretty key rich. I like the upgrade to Red Patch. I like the Red Patch upgrade, and there's yet another key. Fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm just looking for anything at this point, really, to be honest with you. I think what would be nice is... Um, like a spacebar item that I'd, I'd want to actually use every six rooms. Because right now I'm just sitting on the void charge. Feels like a little bit of a waste. It would certainly be better. It would certainly be better. If we had like a uh, satanic bible or book of revs or... I mean any anything that creates HP for me would be amazing right right now that's that's one of my biggest concerns is just staying alive uh 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 staying alive that's my largest concern at the current place in time so if we could fix that could be a secret room there but I'm scared to check if we could fix that that would be priority numero uno okay the other thing, Black Candle, I'm honestly really tired of not being able to see my HP on multiple floors. So Black Candle would be pretty cool too. <laughs> I don't know how many Spirit Hearts I do, maybe do, maybe don't have left uh, trying to protect this deal with the devil. That we may actually get for the first time ever. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Deal with the devil, please. I'll take a deal with the angel at this point. In fact, the deal with the angel may be preferred, I don't know. I just need something. Just needs just need something to to go my way just a teensy tiny bit. There's our shop. Still haven't lost our deal with the devil, which is good. That means we still had at least some spirit hearts. I got to think we're getting pretty low though. Um so I'm really hoping this shop contains a spirit heart and not greed. Let me go ahead and throw that out there again. I'm really hoping the shop contains a spirit heart and not greed. Car battery's pretty good. We can, uh, now we'll spawn, <laughs> now we'll spawn two poops every time we use it. Okay. Um, no, car battery could actually end up being like really, st I lost my deal with the devil. But you would expect three 36% chances equals 100%. You would expect it to pay out at least once. I hate it. <laughs> I'm having a really bad time. I'm having a very bad time. That's okay. That's what you said. I'm having a bad time, but it's not over. We still got a chance. Thank you for the spirit heart protection. One room too late. That's fine. Okay, we have our boss fight. We have our boss fight coming up. I'd like to visit the item room first, just because I'm desperate. <laughs> I'm desperate for anything right now, please. What do you got for me? Again, it's, um, I've talked about it before, but the, uh, the rich get richer, the poor get poorer kind of situation in Isaac. Sure, you know what? Let's get wild with it. I wanted damage. Um, you miss a deal with the devil, you end up with overall worse quality items over the course of the run which causes you to take more damage which causes you to get less deals with the devil slash angel oh great an enemy that i can't really use my orbitals against um that that's exactly the situation you're seeing right here we made some some bad plays early on can't get him just 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 can't reach him unfortunately don't know how to dodge that attack. There goes the deal with the devil. I would like to pass away. If possible. I, I I would like to not be on this planet anymore. You think? Maybe is that possible? I think maybe that's possible. Can we work something out perhaps? Alright, what you got for me? Mm, an HP upgrade. Slurp it, baby. It's a damage and tears upgrade. Cannot complain. It's uh, better than anything we've gotten over the course of the rest of the run. All right, down to the next floor. Yeah, this is uh, a nightmare. This is this is very bad. Um, this is exactly what I I warn you about. You miss a deal with the devil. You're weaker, which makes it a planetarium. And there goes my deal with the devil. <laughs> Please save me, Terra, born to rock. I'm a goofy goober. 
Blank rune. Um. I'm shooting rock tears. Am I saved? Is the run saved? Did a planetarium just save the run? M answer, maybe. Question. Is it now three floors in a row that I'm not able to see my HP? Why is that? <laughs> Why you do this? I would love to just be able to see my HP. Okay, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but it's kind of feeling like the run is saved. I am not trying to get ahead of myself. It's feeling like the run is saved. I don't know what this born to rock... Rock tears are? I don't know what the rock tiers are, but they seem good. We're getting tinted rocks on the ground. I already lost the deal with the devil chance, so it... Don't know how I didn't take damage there. I think the run may be saved. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, you just never give up. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Sometimes it takes a little bit for all of the glory to come to fruition, but eventually it does. Give me that, uh, give me that fool card. Thank you so much. All right. Now, we're probably... Are we strong enough to beat Dogma? Well... That's a tough ask. They changed this room and I don't appreciate it. Okay, no problem. They changed the room. It's still not impossible. Um, are we gonna beat Dogma? I don't know that that's a thing that's gonna happen. So let's, again... Expectations. Let's work on keeping them mellowed a little bit where possible. We'll certainly try our darndest though. But I at least feel comfortable enough that I can like... Take a breath. <laughs> Which is nice. Alright, don't... Stop taking damage. Ice crushed their skulls! Um, stop taking damage is what I would say. Uh, if I could buy another spirit heart, that'd be clutch. Broken stopwatch. Not for me. Uh, if you don't follow me on Twitter, you should follow me on Twitter at just Jershin. Um, if you do follow me on Twitter, you may have seen, uh, our new desktop setup is finally, it's not finished, but it's pretty darn close. I can find secret rooms this way. Oh, baby. Um, it's not finished, but it's pretty darn close, uh, which is very exciting. We've got a dual monitor setup now with two brand new monitors and upgrade over the, uh, the 2006 monitors that I told you about prior. Uh, I'm switching things up a l Oh, baby! Oh, I just felt that course throughout my entire body. Thank you so much for the 15 damage. Love to see it. All right, now the run is saved. Now the run is saved. Now the run is saved. If it wasn't saved before, it's saved now. Now. 36% chance of a deal with the devil. It's not a guarantee. I thought I forgot the fool card for a second and I almost just threw up. Thought I forgot the fool card for a second there. It was almost quite the unhappy camper. We have missed three consecutive 36% chances of a deal with the devil. What a joke. All right, take one of them. Full card. Let's head down to the mausoleum. This, this is, we're not going to, there's no deals with the devil on the next floor. We actually just did a run with zero deals with the devil slash angel. <laughs> I can see my HP again. What a time to be alive. Um, I would describe that as not fun. <laughs> Doing entire runs with no deals with the devil slash angel would describe as not a good time, but we're doing it. We're doing the dang thing, as they say. Um, we will, at the very least, we'll have one more item room for this floor. Dude, these rock tiers are cool. Uh, we'll have one more item room for this floor. Two great golden chests there. I hate everything. Oh, you fuck. You! I don't know if I can afford to reroll the whole run. It's doing the floor again. That's probably worth it. 
It's, a, it's forget me now. It's doing the entire floor again. Which mainly entails... Uh, the main benefit we'd be looking for there... It's taking a shoot ton more damage, apparently. Um, we'd mostly be looking to get a second item room. That That's the main benefit we'd be looking for at this point. If we redid the entire floor, that's two item rooms. I don't know how I didn't take damage there. Apparently the chain doesn't do any damage. Hate these guys. In fact, I loathe them entirely. Okay, guillotine was a bad choice, but we, you gotta understand we were in a desperate place. <laughs> okay, maybe doing the floor twice is a bad idea because I'm just gonna take a hundred damage. We are we are losing HP over the course of the floor. The tinted rock helps, so maybe doing it twice is a bad idea. Guppy's eye! Come on, make me guppy. Oh. It's a spirit heart. Um, I'm gonna take the rosary because it's a tears up. We'll take that tears up. A 0.5 tears up nonetheless. That's not an insignificant tears up. We are now one item away from becoming guppy. Um, probably should have slurped that. Uh, you know, by the way, if we would have gotten a single deal with the devil over the course of this run. We would be guppy right now. Don't even deny it. Don't even deny it. Fudge. If we got a single deal with the devil over the course of the entire run, you're looking at a, 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 a mad, man cat. I almost said mad can. You're looking at a man cat right now. I would absolutely be half baby, half cat. Instead, we're two thirds of the way. Now, it's still possible we could get there. It is still possible we could get there. I'm going to try my darndest to make it happen. I don't think there's any way for us to forcibly make red chest spawn. We really just got to get lucky. I got to also stop just running into enemies. That would be... Um, that strikes my fancy as something that could potentially be clutch as well. <laughs> uh, red patch is good though. I think red patch is going to be a nice little trinket for us. Uh... We're going to be taking a lot of damage in the the beast fight, in the dogma fight. We would expect to take a lot of damage, and we'll be getting a nice uh, damage upgrade in accordance with it. I can't remember if there's um, shops on these floors. There are. That's what I was looking for. These are maybe the worst new enemies in the game. These are maybe the worst new enemies in the game. Um, this is what I was looking for. I think I will slurp. Okay. Be very careful when you say this. I think I will slurp mom's box. Thank you. We got mom's look it. That's not what I'm looking for. But now, that's exactly what I was asking for earlier. That is a... That is a spacebar item that I want to use every four rooms. I am begging to use every four rooms. Or every six rooms in this case. But... Uh, to try to get a good trinket. Should also be blasting these things to see if we can't get, uh, spirit hearts of any kind. Or a secret, secret room. Secret rooms are good too. Thank you very much. Alright, I think we do the floor a second. Almost ran right into it. I think we do the floor a second time. It's probably our only chance to make up. It's probably our only chance to make up you have. <laughs> and I, at this point, I think you gotta go for it. So we're gonna do this floor a second time. We're gonna get a second item room. We're gonna get a second shop. Potentially second secret room. I should have checked for the second secret room. I just realized in that particular case right there. Because the second secret room could have had... Uh, there is a second secret room variety that has like six red chests. We did get a curse room. Now, I would like to be able to, to get in here for free. I don't really want to spend the spirit hearts. We could hanged man and only spend half a spirit heart. If I can get in for free, though, I'm going to check. I'm going to check if I can get in for free because that's the preferred option. Answer, I cannot. 
Sun card. Sun card is amazing, but we can't bring it down to the beast with us. Hanged man in. You coulda. You coulda just won the run for me right there with a single guppy item. It's okay. You didn't have to. I'm gonna go ahead and pop sun card just because, again, we're about to lose it anyway. Pop this. Cracked crown. Cracked crown is just free stats, brother. Ooh, baby! <gasps> So good. I don't know where the ooh babies started, by the way. I, I apologize for them. They, they're they involuntary. I, I can't stop myself from when something good happens to go, ooh baby! I don't know anyone who says that. I don't... I've never said it before in my life until... I don't remember what Isaac episode it even started with. But at some point, I just started screaming, ooh baby! Whenever something good happened in that exact voice. And I, I can't stray from it at this point. It is it is a part of my being, I think. Unfortunately, it's a part of my being. Um, and I can't, <laughs> I can't get away from it as much as I try. This seems like not fun. This is bad. This is bad. I. How did I manage to mess this up? I can't. I think I just have to step on the spikes and press the button. I don't. I don't think I. Oh! This is just to get these. I'm dumb. <laughs> I thought that was to escape the room. Okay. We're fine then. I, I thought I had to, like, solve the puzzle and I, I was, like, trying to do, like, eighth grade calculus there and I was like, the numbers, Mason, what do they mean? We're gonna get a deal with the devil after all. Oh, baby. I'm gonna save, um... One sec. Ah, we don't need the other one. I'm gonna save... Sure, I'll take it. Um, I'm going to save until we have a void charge ready to go. Because the void charge, uh... You never know. We could get, find some item that we decide we want to hold on to for a little bit longer in a deal with the devil, so let's try. So let's do the Joker. <laughs> Why? Why do you hate me? I mean, it's only our first deal with the devil over the course of the entire run, so like, couldn't expect much, but wow. Brother Bobby and Demon Baby. Shot speed down. That is, that is just rude. Okay, well, you know, at least we got to see one. At least we got to see one. <laughs> I thought we were going to do an entire run without getting to view a, an entire, a single deal with the devil. We at least got to see one. We already went into the curse room. Nothing we want to do in there. Alright, I think we're pretty much... Uh, I think we're spent. I think we're spent. Uh, we we don't really chariot car. No, thank you. Uh, we don't really have any way to to get the last guppy item unless a random red chest shows up, which I would tend to put in the very unlikely, not even unlikely, the very unlikely category. So let's not expect it. Um, but if it does pop up, we'll know immediately whether or not we're free because we have, we have Guppy's Eye. We'll see if it's got a Guppy item in it pretty much instantaneously. That'll be a pretty, that'll be an ooh baby kind of moment. Second secret rooms. Second secret rooms. Okay, we got it. We have guaranteed secret rooms, so we have to look for the second secret room. Legally, we have to. Legally, we have to. Where could it be? Where could it be? Where could it be? We have to find it. I, I, I have to exhaust all possible options. Really? It's none of those? Maybe the rock tiers don't work to find second secret rooms? Unless it's somewhere over to the right and I missed it. Maybe it just doesn't work. Let's try. Let me, let me try placing a bomb down. 
Let's try. I feel this feels like a weird extra side jut over here. No? Okay. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, let's go. We have already left a trinket behind. We could just pop. <gasps> I don't know what would happen if I did this, but I almost just pressed void. In fact, I would like to Google it. I almost just pressed void to create trinkets so that they would turn into red keys. That would avoid a dad's note. What happens if you void? No, don't void dad's note. I kind of want to find out, but I don't want to ruin the run. It cannot be rerolled or destroyed in most ways. It cannot be duplicated. So it's fine. How to acquire. Okay, so I probably could use it and be fine, but I'm scared. So we're just going to pick up dad's note. <laughs> just to be safe. Then we'll pop this. Pinky eye cracked crown. I think I'm good with cracked crown. Thank you, though. I think I am, uh... I think I am still content with cracked crown. Thank you. Alright. Now, obviously, name of the game here is spend as little time on these floors as possible. Thank you for the spirit heart. Guppy's eye is such a good item, dude. Name of the game is spend as little time on these floors as possible. Um... However, we would like, we would like for the guppy dream to come true if possible. We would like for the guppy dream to come true if possible. Tower card. We would like for the guppy dream to come true if, if possible. And probably our best method for making that happen would be to explore all of the rooms for the chance that a random red chest spawns. It's probably so unlikely that it actually happens, though, that I think I'm of the opinion. Let's just work on unlocking the tainted character. <laughs> we, we would have to get so lucky for the red chest, not only for a red chest to spawn, but for said red chest to contain a guppy item. The chances of it ha happening are slim to none, though there's a chest right there. You got me kind of excited. The chances of it happening would be slim to none. Now, we are pretty powerful, so, like, we can clear rooms pretty well without taking too much damage. I would prefer... Maybe if I get to full HP, I'll, I'll feel more comfortable doing some exploration. <laughs> you gonna tease me like that? You naughty naughty, you're teasing me. I can't believe they would tease me like that with a, a red chest that simply contained a spirit heart. That is rude. I know I'm not taking pills, by the way. I've, uh... Another one? They, they gave me another one? Now we could, dude. What if we use mom's box enough times and we end up with left hand? What if we end up with left hand? Frick. Frick. Okay, let's not think about that. Let's uh, focus on not dying because just took some very unnecessary damage there. The fact that it showed me two red chests makes me think we're going to get it. <laughs> I probably shouldn't, but I feel like we're going to become Guppy. Just just a good feeling that we're going to become Guppy. So I, I will do some more exploring. Do not want Isaac's Fork. I want Cracked Crown. Although Cracked Crown's not giving us that many stats. It's better than nothing. Okay, continue. Okay, here's our red key. Let's go ahead and blow this up. Maybe get some red hearts. That helps quite a bit. Thank you. Thank you. The, the dogma and beast fight are still going to be very tough, but I feel like there's at least... I should not have picked up guillotine, dude. <laughs> Why did I pick up guillotine? Flat penny. Okay, we should take... We should take Child's Heart for the next couple of rooms while we clear them to try to get some red hearts to get back to full HP. And then I will switch back. We'll switch back to Cracked Crown before the floor is over. Help. 
Okay, we will switch back before the floor is over, I promise. This is bad. Son of a piece. Son of a piece. Son of a piece. Hemorrhaging HP quite a bit here. Things are starting to look a little frightening. That's gonna help. That's gonna help. Okay. Um, yeah, things are a little frightening. I, I don't feel great about our dogma chances anymore. <laughs> We're gonna need a lot more HP. The question is, do you explore to try to find said HP? Because the floors are only getting tougher. The closer you get to dogma, the in my opinion, the floors only get tougher. I don't know if that's actually true, but the enemies seem to get tougher. You start getting those, like, uber tanky enemies that I really do not enjoy fighting. Could get Magic Mush. Ma Magic Mush would be one of the most insane pickups of all time right about now. Stud Finder. Not what I'm looking for. Okay, we did not get Magic Mush. It was unlikely. Continue. All right. Where are we now? Basement 2? Downpour 2. I forgot we did Alt Path for a second. Forgot we did Alt Path for a second. We got six hearts. We have six hearts. AKA, we can take six hits. I'd rather take none of them. <laughs> if possible. And if a random... Um... Can I... Sure, take a pill. Range up. I know I haven't been taking pills over the course of the run. I'm feeling a little frisque at this point. Can there even be tinted rocks on any of these floors? I actually don't know if there can even be tinted rocks on any of these floors. Dude, look at Ghost Baby. He's doing his best. He's certainly trying. Whew. This has been a... I don't know why. I feel like stressed. This, <laughs> this has been an above average, just stressful episode for some reason. What do we got? Cartridge, spiky shoes. No, thank you. I think I'm good to keep exploring. It's also been like a... That's terrifying. It's also been a super banter light episode, and I apologize for that. I, f like, I felt like I had things to talk about in addition to just my new monitor setup, which is the thing I'm like most excited about right now. I got Mario Golf, that's exciting. I've been replaying through Hollow Knight, that's kind of fun. But I thought I had a little bit more hard hitting. Uh, oh, thank you for the spirit heart. I think I, I thought I had more hard hitting stuff to talk about before I started recording. I almost definitely did. Can't remember it at this point though. It is, uh, if it was in there at one point, whatever the topic of today's epi was gonna be, if it was in there at one point, it is gone now, unfortunately. Is that a range up again? There's another range up, we'll take it. We like range up, especially against this upcoming fight. We like a range up against this upcoming fight. Pop those. I don't know what panic button does, but I think I hate it. Don't know what panic button does, but I think I hate it. We still have our cracked key. Hate these guys. Just <laughs> absolutely hate them, but thankfully our tiers are rather large. It's unfortunate, not where we're looking to go. <sighs> I'm trying to continue building uh, a little spirit heart army here. I'll take regular hearts too, like if a, if a judgment wanted to show up. If a judgment wanted to show up and I had the option, the game heard me. All right, give me an HP upgrade, would love it. Would absolutely love an HP upgrade right about now. Any, every little hit increases our chances. Thank you. Every single hit increases our chances of... Oh my gosh. <laughs> he's, he's doing it? Every hit. Every extra hit we can take increases our chances of beating Dogma like 15 fold. Just continue. Another one. That doesn't really do anything for me, unfortunately. I don't, I don't even think voiding it does anything for me. I don't think we seek to gain anything from voiding that. Unless you can kill him in one hit with um, with the Bible, like you can Isaac's mom. But I, well, I don't know if you can. I've never tried it. 
and suddenly the exploration was not worth it. Hanged man car. Pop this. What the heck is that? Devil's crown, his special customer. So we just unlocked this last time with a Zazel. I don't know what it is. The pure stats are probably better. Devil's crown, his special customer. It's That's got to be something with like, uh, with deals with the devil, right? I'm going to look it up because I'm a cheater. Devil's crown, Isaac. It, it says his special customer. It's got to be like a deal with the devil. You get like discounts or something. Mm. Treasure rooms are replaced with red slash devil treasure rooms that contain items from the devil room pool and could be bought for heart containers. Okay, so it just turns um, item rooms into deals with the devil. That's cool. Uh, doesn't help us right now, unfortunately. Tinted Rock, you're a beautiful man. Um, yeah, it doesn't do anything for me because uh, we have no more treasure rooms, unfortunately. Item, I call them item rooms. I'll never call them a treasure room. I don't care what the lore says. Um... A bomb for a single penny. That's going to be a no. It's going to be a no for me. Okay, it's basement one. So like I said, we're, we're going to unlock Tainted Apollya. Will we actually be able... Will we actually be able to beat... Will we be able to beat Dogma? That is a little bit of a tougher task. Or a lot of bit of a tougher task. We're certainly going to try, though. The question is, do I explore the rest of the floor? Don't want those. Oh, God, that was close. The question is, do I explore the rest of the floor? To try and squeeze out a little bit more HP? This guy just told me that the answer is yes. This guy just told me that's exactly what you should do. Okay, we'll try to squeeze out a little bit more HP out of this guy. Maybe out of some uh, some tinted rocks as well if they exist. And maybe if... It's unlikely... Yes! If a red chest... That contains Guppy... Is out there listening right now. If you just happen... If you happen to be out there... And you're thinking, you know, I could use a new home. You know, this home's okay and everything, but... You know, I'm getting a little tired of the hardwood floors. Maybe some carpeting would be nice. I got you. I got you covered, brother. Come on over. The water's fine. Um, okay, I'm going to explore. I'm going to explore because I feel like the guppy dream could happen. It's unlikely, but it could happen. We've got maybe one more room to make it happen. Come on, baby. Red chest with guppy. Red chest guppy. No Guppy. That's okay. Alright. Up to home we go. Is there still a chance we become Guppy? Probably not. Especially not considering that contains uh, two bombs. This just contains a trinket. Um. Yeah. Unfortunately, no. But, uh, I can see inside your skull. That's terrifying. We unlocked achievement The Empty. Mom's wig is fine. Um, okay, you know. How do I feel about our chances? Not great. Would describe myself in general as feeling not great. The magnetic tears do be helping quite a bit, though. Good stuff. Keep slurping the tears away from me. Appreciate it. Okay. It's a pretty good first phase. <laughs> Careful. Pay attention to your guillotine body. Pay attention to your guillotine body. Aye! Good stuff. Keep it going. Keep 
Keep it going. He be yelling. Brother, a perfect first half. You love to see it. Remember when I thought this boss was difficult? All right. Four horsemen. Dude, I, I cannot. Like, the most clutch. Just, just seeing if there's any good trinkets out there. The most clutch planetarium of all time. Rock Tears have absolutely saved this run. Single-handedly. The Rock Tears single-handedly saved this run. I mean, Cricket's Head certainly helped too. Plus, basically like a 33% damage up increase at the time. Not to take away from anything that, that they did for us. But my goodness, dude. This, th this run was going nowhere fast. This run was going nowhere fast, and then just suddenly out of nowhere, the worm turned. Now we're having a great time. Well, I'm at least having a great time. I I'm not going to speak for you, but I'm having a dang good time with this run in particular. Just chucking giant boulders like a Geodude using Rock Slide. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. Two down. Still haven't taken a single hit of DiMaggio. All right, this next guy though, he uh, he's usually trouble for me. This guy causes me issues. This guy causes me issues. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, phase one. Going into phase two. Yep, he's mad. He's gonna go for the hug. Please stay six feet away at all times, sir! It's still COVID times. That was not six feet. Okay. Okay, good. He's done. Death next. Death is always good. I, death is like a guaranteed at least two hits. A what? I <laughs> No! My little smacky hand stomped him down into the <laughs> into the earth's crust. <laughs> that was I, I I thought we just beat him there. Like I I thought that just counted as the win. I almost got really excited. I thought it just stop hitting him downward, please. You're making it a little little difficult for me to actually hit him. Okay. I don't usually get to this phase, so I don't really know how to beat him. Okay, great stuff. Good. I don't really know how to take on a uh, Dark Death. Whew! Seven hits against the Beast. Should, in theory, be more than enough. And we'll get this lovely thing checked off the post-it note. We're doing a lot of damage. In we should be fine. We should be fine. I think, I think the toughest part is over. I think the Four Horsemen are tougher usually than this guy himself. This... This attack might be a little difficult with Guillotine. Just gotta keep my bearing straight. Okay. Little tough with Guillotine. He comes charging. No problem. We got him, dude. We got this fight down. We absolutely have this fight down. Shouldn't be too long. He's gonna do a little flop and be like, Oh, you got me. And then he'll start chasing me the other way, I think. Unless I'm not doing nearly as much damage as I originally thought. Okay, there's the flop. Just kidding. Uh, I'm, I don't know if I've ever seen this. I don't know if I've ever seen that attack before in my entire life. Okay, I'm clearly not doing as much damage as I thought I was doing. Because um, we got a whole bunch of extra phases here that I am just not that familiar with. Doing fine though. Keep your eye on the ball. Keep your eye on the ball. Alright, he's chasing me again. Whoa, dude, he, he switched up on me. Okay, is he starting to take damage now? Can we see him taking damage? Yes, okay, he's starting to break down. Alright. Ooh! I feel like a, a, just a strange stress on my heart for some reason. This It wasn't like it was that difficult to run or anything. Just very stressful at times, but I'm very happy that we were able to, to bring home the Dublinsky. In about three times the amount of time it took to do so with Azazel. But you know, that 
Sometimes that's just the name of the game. The sky above. Boom. Worm Friend has appeared in the basement. That is Apollyon Dogma. And we unlock Tainted Apollyon. Who I think will probably go ahead and give a little look-see in the next episode. So come back for that. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider showing some support down below. Liking, commenting, subscribing. All help out a tremendous deal. Share with your grandmother as always. But with that, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.